Hi, my name is Philip Kalahoff. I want to present Protos to you. This will be our third fund investing in cryptocurrencies. The first fund we launched in 2013, which was a private vehicle, and we invested in uh, Ethereum at uh, pre-sale prices of seven cents and uh, in other protocols like Bitcoin. Our second vehicle we just launched recently, it's a uh, asset manager, which is now fully licensed in Canada, managing cryptocurrencies. And Protos will be our uh, third fund, which we will offer as a token to invest along us. So our combined experience investing in crypto is 13 years as a team. We have founded and exited four startups and proceed with the proceeds of 400 million. And we have managed uh, several hedge funds in the traditional world of uh, over 2 billion. So this is our team. Matthew Shaw is responsible for strategy and derivatives. He's co-founded an investment bank and sold that in Switzerland. He's uh, pro managed pro prop trading desks and prop portfolios with uh, over a billion dollars. Then Tom Knishenko, he's uh, founded two crypto investment vehicles and uh, is a two times VC backed tech investor, tech founder. And then myself, I will look after data, data sets in cryptocurrencies and trading. And my background is uh, yeah, PhD in computational neuroscience or machine learning. And, um, and I've basically worked for hedge funds building algo trading strategies um, and managed personally, I mean, managed hedge funds with over a billion dollars. Now, Mark van der Cies is our special advisor. He's a crypto VC since 2011. And uh, he founded Tudu, and which IPO'd at Nasdaq. So let me summarize market challenges from our view, how we are seeing it, and what we have invested. So between 2010 and 2016, it was, in the end, quite simple. The best strategy was to actually buy tokens and hold them. The, well, now we have, re we have reached over 100 billion, and uh, trading liquidity is uh, quite uh, substantial with over a billion per day. So now, obviously, our trading, um, and I think should be changing over time. What we're now seeing is we see several tokens per day, um, and it becomes quite uh, impossible to reach probably 200 white papers a week. ICOs are becoming pretty expensive. Uh, with uh, several raisings over 100 million. So how do quantitative analysts and uh, hedge fund managers like, like me build uh, trading strategies in this space? That's what I want to talk about. So one strategy that I've worked on quite extensively is called uh, any kind of trend following or signal processing strategies. And it's a very common strategy in hedge funds. It's uh, applied in... Um, uh, hedge funds with over $300 billion industry. And the strategy works, um, is pretty simple actually. The market is up, you basically buy the asset, and if it's down, you sell it. Now in Bitcoin, it's pretty difficult to short sell, so I just made here an example of a long-only st strategy. And the graph shows uh, Bitcoin 60 days returns versus the performance of the strategy over 60 days. And what you see is, if Bitcoin was up 200% over 60 days, then the strategy also made 200%. So that's great. On the other hand, you want to limit your downside, which could have been very interesting last couple of days, obviously. Um, and then you basically limit your downside to probably, on average, like 10%. Another measure that we really like, and I'm not talking about any news processing that we do and uh, NLP processing, um, but a really scalable measure is the crypto PE ratio that Chris Berniski introduced and Willie Wu back then. And it's basically calculated as the network value over transaction volume. And network, network value is really the market capitalization of uh, a cryptocurrency, for example. And transaction volume uh, should be really different to trading volume. So it's really the on-chain transactions. So if you think about Bitcoin, for example, you would calculate around about 60 billion market cap 
over, let's say, a transaction volume of 2 billion, so you would have a ratio of 30. That's an example. So here, and here I show, that, and why this is interesting is because what you see here, this is the Bit Bitcoin ratio, or the Bitcoin crypto PE ratio, since 2011. And what's interesting is, it seems to be fluctuating or coming back always to a level of 50. That's pretty nice for a trader like me, because that would mean, very simply put, if it's like 30, you should be buying Bitcoins, whereas if it's 100, you should be selling Bitcoins. Problem is with this measure, you cannot apply it that easily to other blockchains, because the transaction volume is not readily available. And these are the kind of data sets that we want to build in the future. The trends that we are currently seeing is you have to be almost a wizard to analyze the many tokens that are coming alive and the, the various white papers. We believe in next year already we'll have, us and others will have the right data sets um, to trade a larger amount of, of cryptocurrencies and the security will also be improved next year. Then beyond that, we believe machine learning um, will take over and multi-manager platforms where people can actually decentralize and manage assets. So we have basically designed our fund to, uh, according to that. So for this year, we'll be trading and investing in core protocols and pre-ICOs. Next year, we'll focus on building data sets and algorithmic trading. So we, and for algorithmic trading, you really need scalable data that is comparable across the different blockchains. And then beyond that, we want to build our token into a multi-manager platform where the portfolio managers can actually participate in managing the assets and participate in the performance of the fund and obviously the, yeah, the rewards. So let me just introduce the token that we have designed uh, for this um, fund. We call it the Protoss token. Basically, with buying this Protoss token, you'll invest in our hedge fund with along us. The hedge fund will continuously report our positions. In the beginning, probably uh, on a regular basis, but in the future, hopefully, very transparent, transparent and um, almost continu continuous. And secondly, you'll obviously be able to trade this token. And also, like science, we're working with the same group of people, and this will be a fully uh, it's, will be security token, so it'll be regulated in the different countries. So what are the differences from us, for example, to other uh, hedge fund offerings and um, other incubator tokens? First of all, we are offering, I think, probably the first fund or hedge fund that is offering a tradable token that you can freely trade on the exchange. Secondly, our main goal, or our most important goal, is to preserve and grow your capital. We bring 13 years of crypto investing. We'll, we bring 50 years of traditional investing with our team. And we bring 35 years of tech entrepreneurship with us. We also believe we are ahead of the key trends. That means we want to build data sets in cryptocurrencies. And we're also building a multi-manager platform for cryptocurrencies in our hedge fund. We've chosen to work with some of the best groups out there. We have Skadden as our legal advisor. Obviously, this is a tremendous undertaking, um, building a hedge fund on the blockchain these days, or still. And we have the Argon Group advising us on the ICO. Um, on the fund side, we have Jules Green, who is a co-founder at Ashmore, with, with, which is a $50 billion fund. And on the technical side, we have Joshua Bow. Very happy to have him as a co-creator of Blackcoin, which is now being used, which is now being used, um, or the technology is being used in, several, in a lot of other tokens. So, what is the timeline? Um, we have announced our ICO just in August, a couple of weeks ago at the New York conference, New York fintech conference, and we will start pre-sales on the 25th of September. And then we'll hold the ICO, or the ICO will launch on uh, mid of October, the 17th. If you want to know more about us, you please join our Telegram channel at uh, Protoss Crypto. 
you will find our website at protoss.tokenhub.com. And our email is protoss at tokenhub.com. And we also have a booth outside, or you can find me anytime today at the conference. Thank you very much.